you. I've lost respect for a woman because she's lied to me. Mm -hmm. Because she's said, I'm making you wait and then didn't make other dudes wait. Then I lose respect for you. <laughs> she's like, I'll make Michael Sartain wait, but not these other guys. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Rolo on the Michael Sartain show, talking about the meaning behind women that make you wait. They'll be giving their dumb input and then I'll be reacting to that. And make sure you check out in the end screen, my video debunking Rolo and the whole red pill. Okay, let's jump right in here. Any woman that uh, makes you wait for sex, there's obviously something that's mitigating her decision to have sex with you. M most of the time, like people say, well, then those women are damaged or they must have something wrong with them or they're loose or they're slut. Keep in mind, Rolo hasn't seen a new vagina in over two decades. Emotional damage. Okay, he's married. He has a self-proclaimed like kind of 40 girls. He doesn't know shit. And he hasn't done any active dating since the invention of texting or online game. Okay, he doesn't know shit. They're whatever like that. And so it's like, what would you say when somebody says, well, you're just interested in loose fucking club sluts and they're all skanks? So I have a ma macro answer and a micro answer. The mm -hmm. macro answer, like from a sociological standpoint would be, um, for for instance, I had a girl that I dated for a while and she didn't sleep with me on the first date legitimately because her best friend wanted to sleep with me. And mm -hmm. she was like, I don't want to piss off my best friend. It, if she is going out of her way to not sleep with me in order to increase desire, then you're right. I think that's incorrect. Like I think mm -hmm. because I, most of the women I know when I'm like, hey, your boyfriend, how, how long did you make? Like, how long do you make guys wait? They're like three dates. Your last boyfriend, how long do you make him wait? No, it was the first date, right? They, they, mm -hmm. they always leave that out. Mm -hmm. They always leave out the time that they went, you know, hooked up with some guy at the backstage of a concert or they hooked up with some dude in, in Mexico. They never count those on the body count, right? Mm -hmm. So from a, a macro perspective, for the most part, I, I agree from the idea, the idea that like her deliberately trying to use this as leverage in order to make me wait doesn't work. Mm -hmm. From a micro perspective, meaning from my standpoint specifically, anecdotally, I don't care because I'm seeing so many other women. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I've so actually, I've yeah. definitely had women make me wait More seven dates, but I didn't notice. I was like, after the fact, I was like, wow, this girl made me wait seven dates. And I was like, you know, I would definitely. <laughs> you didn't notice that she made him wait seven dates. From my experience, the really hot one, the nine pluses, more often than not, it takes two dates to close. With Liz in Brazil, okay, she claims that she normally waits five dates. I went to kiss her on like 15, like 15 to 20 minutes in on the first date. And she's like, oh, I should be going, this is too soon. And I was like, no, no, it's cool. We can slow down, blah, blah, blah. There's no rush, right? But I had to like damage control that and like slow it down because it was going too quick. But the quality ones, Okay, the ones that aren't sleeping around with everybody make you wait. Typically are the ones that you want as a girlfriend or as a wife, something more serious, a main rotation girl maybe. My uncle, he taught me a, a really good principle. He said, think about, do you wanna bring this girl home to like meet your mom, right? Like if it's just some girl that like bangs you in like two seconds, she's probably doing that with everyone, okay? If it's a girl that doesn't give it up right away, doesn't go home with guys from clubs, that's someone that you can trust more. You gotta look at the girl's moral system, her values. Is she running around clubs all the time? Is she getting really drunk all the time? Blah, 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 blah. And it's fine to bang girls first date most girls will but when you're looking for like a main rotation girl or a girlfriend you should look for girls that made you wait i strongly encourage that because that means they're not giving up for everyone it's seven dates you're amazing the problem is you understand i'm seeing four other girls just as long mm -hmm. as you understand that i'm seeing four Dating other girls not I, exclusively and mm -hmm. because my dates are so fun for me i go to i only go on dates that are fun for me it's so fucking annoying by the way guys we have a price rise coming October 31st, we're going to be raising prices on the eight-week program by 1800 bucks. Get on a free 30-minute call, and you will get to find out all the details. Basically, we will put your text game and your online game messaging on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge at my level out of the gate. All those messages are provided for you. You just follow the charts. You don't have to do any of your own texting, come up with your, any of your own texts, or any of your own messages on Tinder. We also overhaul your online profile to get you a night and day difference in quantity and quality of matches. And we will show you exactly how to run your dates and close your dates and keep the girl. They're so fun, Rolo. If she just up and left, I'm throwing axes at fucking Area 15. I love throwing axes. <laughs> I love Area 15. Yeah. That's and like one of my favorite places. Place in Vegas. Shit. I'm, yeah. I'm at I'm at a Mega Mart in Area yeah. 15. If you want to go, look at his face. <laughs> this is the face of a guy trying so hard to be cool. Look at his face. <laughs> hey, go. Was, just yes. fucking go I, there have definitely been girls make me wait but i don't even notice they made me wait because mm -hmm. i one girl made me wait 15 times and i didn't even notice because i just was doing dates that were so fun and throwing axes have so many other things going on mm -hmm. so from that standpoint i do agree uh about about 
what I, what I do tell women is this, is like, if you're intent, cause here's the problem, right? I've had women disagree with me with this, but it's the truth. If you, the quickest way for me to get a girl to be my girlfriend is what? There's no way to argue that. That is absolutely the truth. So if I really like a girl, see, this is where women get this part wrong. If I really like a girl, they're like, oh, you just want to have sex with me. And I'm like, no, I want to have sex with you because I really like you and I need other penises to stay out of you. (laughs) And so for me to do that, I need to have sexual intercourse with you quickly. It's not out of insecurity. Mm -hmm. It is an emotional urgency. urgency. Mm -hmm. It's an an evolutionary Mm -hmm. imperative for me to do that because I want to lock you down with me because I really like you. Women don't think about it like that. They don't think it the other way. They they think it the other way. It's like, Mm -hmm. I'm making him wait. He's waiting to prove that he, that he likes me. No, I know I like you real quick. Man, it doesn't take me that long. Mm-hmm. I know I like you real quick. And so in order to do this, I need Chad Thundercock to stay the fuck away from you. Mm-hmm. So we need to have really amazing sex as soon as possible so that you are at my place all the time because that's what I want. I want to lock you down from these other people. Mm-hmm. And women think it like, oh no, you're just trying to have sex with me and you're going to lose respect for me. I've never lost respect for a woman because we had sex quickly. I've never, that's mm-hmm. never been the issue. I've lost respect for a woman because she's lied to me. Mm-hmm. Because she's said, I'm making you wait and then didn't make other dudes wait. Then I lose respect for you. <laughs> she's like, I'll make Michael Sartain wait, but not these other guys. That's when I lose respect. For you. So I'll that's- tell you what, I'll tell you where I learned that lesson, by the way, the, uh-huh. uh, the, uh, the making rules for betas mm-hmm. and alpha. I was, uh, when I was working in the liquor industry, I would have to be the one who would select women to go to do, you know, booth candy, right? To select the ones who are like the poor girls. Yeah. Right? And um, I remember the conversation between two of these poor girls, and they were saying, like, uh, would you ever or have you ever had sex with a guy on the first date? You know, because they're kind yeah. of getting, they don't know each other, right? So they're getting to know each other. And, um, and one of them says, oh, yes, of course I have. Ha ha. You know, <laughs> but not if he was boyfriend material. Right. And I was like, so the, and I, 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 I By the way, to lock a chick down, okay, it's not just about having sex, it's about building investment. Mystery talks about temporal investment, emotional investment, physical investment, okay? If you're spending time together, she's getting more invested. By hooking up, she's getting more invested. By getting to know you more and getting more emotionally involved, she's getting invested. So you wanna build investment quickly so that she comes back for more, okay? Sex is part of that, but not the whole story. Took mental notes at that time. You'll have sex with the guy like immediately, as fast as you possibly can, if the guy is hot, uh, is very hot and he's the hot guy on the phone can, he's a, a good opportunity yeah. to bang right then and there. But if he gives you cues and he gives you signs that he might be like somebody who's a good protector provider, parental investment, da- dads versus cats, if he seems like that guy has to wait, that guy has to have a higher burden of performance than the guy who's the alpha guy who you wanted to fuck immediately that same night. And I'm like... <laughs> he just called Michael Sartain beta indirectly. He's like, yeah, you wanted to fuck the alpha guy that same night. These other guys, you made wait. Okay, that's what Sartain was complaining about. Oh, I lost respect for them if they made me wait, but not other guys. That means, like, that's chick. Because Sartain's fucking fake alpha. Logic, right? That makes, no, bro, that makes bro, no sense. No, it makes every bit of sense because she can't get Chad and she can't get Brad in yeah. the same guy. And that's why that guy has to jump. Oh, I'll tell things. you where it gets even worse. It's mm-hmm. I used to have three but I don't do that anymore because you're mm. my boyfriend. Oh my God. Ladies, you want to piss mm. your man off, do that. I was yeah. so wild in I my college so days my college. and I don't do that I anymore. Used to have- That's how Rolo talks. Oh, my rock star 20s. So he doesn't bang anyone anymore. So it's his fucking gross Skeletor wife. Threesomes, but I'm in love with you. So I would never have a threesome with you. Like, mm-hmm. and it's just like women think that that makes sense. No, it mm-hmm. doesn't make sense. It mm-hmm. is like the worst. Um, I'll tell you this. My- and, the, and the other thing is your digital footprint. When you say that, ladies... Mm-hmm. Your dig- if you have like Instagram that proves that no, you were really into it on that yacht party way back, you know, back in 2018, yeah. that's when guys kind of go, hmm. <laughs> I've had situations where women I used to date, they start seeing new guys and they're in, the, and they're, they're in a monogamous relationship with a new guy, but the guy knows she, that I could see other women when she was with me. Mm-hmm. And so he gets very frustrated. He's like, why is it that he had these rules and I had a second set of rules? Mm-hmm. I've also heard Bulzarian talk about men uh, women he used to date and then they would go get married to someone else and the guy literally had to go seek counseling mm-hmm. because it was constantly this this problem of like you were willing to have sex with Dan Bilzerian and nine other women at the same time mm-hmm. and I married you but you would never do this with me yeah. and it's like there's this I'm, suppo- I'm supposed to be the one Correct. you would do all the crazy shit with and not those guys Correct. whereas I get the watered down version of your sexuality whereas Dan Bilzerian got the anything goes you know off the rails sexuality because that that's, that, again, the difference between genuine desire and mitigated resire, desire is exactly that. It's somewhere in between those two, those two points. One of the, I had guys that I counsel all the time. They were like, um, 
You know, uh, my wife and I used to have sex, so all the time it was great. Rolo's counseling people now. Wonderful. Watch probably the end screen about fucking debunking the entire red pill on Rolo. He's a fucking joke, okay? He's using false statistics. He's using made-up terminology to try to sound smart. It's a whole fucking pile of shit. Okay, this guy is not a real expert and he fucking sucks. I lost the frame, Rolo. How do I get the frame back? And I'm like, well, and I, I go and I say, I'm questioning the guy. I will say, well, you know, did you, when did you get married? I was always ask about logistics, like yeah. you know, age and everything else. She's like, oh, yeah, she had a really crazy past. She has a, a ex-boyfriend or something like that that she can't get over. And I'm like, that's the alpha widow dynamic is like women pine for the one that got away. But you're the guy who will do and she would do, you know, sexual gymnastics with him, but she won't do it with you. So she, there has to be a rationale. There has to be some reasoning as to why she won't do that. And so she's like, well, I did that for him back in the day. And, but, uh, uh, you know, what we have is more special. We yeah. have more of an emotional it doesn't connection. They're just bitching about fucking chicks snubbing them for better guys. These guys don't know shit, okay? Like, Rolo is, like, the worst. Okay, one of the worst in the space, sort of along there with RSD Tyler. Sartain loves platforming these guys, as is fucking Bork Alex platforming all these guys. It, the industry is becoming more and more sickening by the day, guys. It's it's really a sad state of affairs. We're going to be scaling up paid advertising and, and reaching a lot more people, and all these fucking dorks can just, you know, rot on their own here. Watch that video on the end screen to show the whole rational mail pill stuff being debunked. Get on one of those calls before the prices go up. We'll explain to you how the program works and why it is industry leading. We'll give you a customized solution for your specific situation. Okay, thank you guys so much and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.